Let's see. Okay. Um, oh, mad at me. Hi, guys! So, first of all, this lighting is crazy. I'm in a parking garage. I'm actually in Ikea's parking garage. We've all been there, right? And I'm wearing Ikea blue. Look how cute. And my pecs look good in it, too. Oh, oh. Because today, I am trying Ikea's food. So, Ikea does have, like, a cafeteria with, like, meatballs, mashed potatoes, chicken tenders, fries, desserts. And I'm going to be trying all those things today and letting you know if they're delicious or not. Now, this is my first time trying Ikea on my channel okay but i have had ikea meatballs like years ago so i just want to be totally upfront. this isn't my very first time trying it but it's my first time trying it as a taste tester and as someone with a refined palate you guys know i only enjoy the finer things in life hello like chuck e cheese pizza right <laughs> i'm gonna take you guys inside with me now if the cafeteria is empty and if there's good lighting i might just film in there okay but if it's not empty and I feel awkward, I'm just gonna get it to go and come to my car and film in here, of course, in a different parking lot because this is way too shadowy. But I'm just super hyped. Subscribe if you're new here. I taste test all the new fast food items and I just do random taste tests like this one. Let's get inside. Um, I might vlog a little bit. We'll see. But um, thumbs up this video also if you're enjoying it. We love a vlogging moment, guys. I always feel so pretty with my purse. Oh, someone's trying to park behind me. I always feel so pretty with my purse look uh people always think that it's prada or like something like that i'm like girl i can't afford that girl it's guess okay it is the priciest purse that i've ever bought and it's 80 it was 80 dollars. so for me that's a lot girl like i don't usually buy nice things like that besides like action figures but anyways but i always like to park in the back of like parking lots because that's like where like all the empty spaces are and i don't like parking next to other cars especially in like squished spots what do you need to do what do you need to do <laughs> okay. Um, the cafeteria is real empty, and so I'm thinking I might just film here. I'm excited. I have never like done like a taste test in like a public place, like a like a restaurant, right? So this is new for me. Um, I'm gonna get like a lot of food though, so I am gonna have to ask for to go boxes afterwards for sure, cause I'm not gonna finish it all. But I'm gonna have it for dinner too, so we love that. Hello, how are you? Uh, can I get a Swedish meatballs meal? Eight, um, eight. Okay. And um, can I also get a um, chicken tender meal? Chicken. Thank you so much. Okay, besties. So we are here at IKEA. I have my food. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so we got the meatballs. We got the peas. We got the mashed potatoes and gravy. The lingamberry sauce. We have chicken tenders, fries a chocolate cake oh my god this something i don't know what that is but i had to try it i have ketchup i have a diet coke if it's too noisy in here i'm sorry if this is just not a good like idea i won't do it again but i did want to try it oops i did want to try it at least once like eating in a restaurant right so i'm just really excited right now i have all these straps oh my god first things first i have to get that thumbnail guys i love how like all the furniture here and everything all has the most interesting names it's like lingonberry chair or strudel couch you know ah that's crisp i'm waiting to see the food though <gasps> wait hold on is that better that's cute can you hear me i don't know this is so weird, guys. I'm sorry. This is so nice. Oh my god. Let's try some fries. Mm. Mm. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oh my god. How am I gonna do this? No. Hold on. Okay. Guys, it was a lot emptier before, and now there's more people, and I'm kind of scared. It's just a lot. It's a lot happening. These fries are it. For real. 
and then since it's just a mukbang, it's a taste test, so I'm gonna critique the food too, you know? I think that might be the best angle so far. My pecs look so good in this shirt. So the fries are real salty. They have a very crispy exterior. <laughs> <laughs> they're really soft on the inside they don't taste like they've been cooked in old oil they taste really fresh so I'm impressed here I really am I'm scared that like an IKEA employee is going to tell me to stop filming I don't know if it's allowed or not I just really hate being reprimanded not in like, oh my god, like, I'm so angry, in like a pathetic way. I'm like, oh, don't hurt me! <laughs> I'm sorry! Mmm. These fries are so good. I love them. So now, let's try the tendies. Ooh. <gasps> You're steaming. You know what's funny? There are like so many people passing by me, but no one's actually looking. Which is really helpful. I don't feel as like weird. Like everyone's just kind of like in their own little world. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's tender. It's good quality. Oh. Prices, guys. Prices. I almost forgot. I have the receipt. So. Okay, so this is an apple cake. We love that. Okay, someone was just watching me. I got angry. <laughs> so yeah, this is an apple cake right here. It was one ninety nine. Where's the chocolate cake? Where is it? Oh, it's. I think it's called two layers, and it was four ninety nine. Four ninety nine for that, girl. Why is the apple thing two dollars and that's five dollars? That's kind of crazy. There was a lady watching me. She was. She was just standing there watching me in the blue she passed by girl ikea blue we're twins i don't blame people for like watching me because i would watch someone film too you know anyways the meatball meal was 8.49 and the tender meal was 7.49 okay you know the prices aren't terrible if you're out shopping for furniture it's a fun little moment right so yeah the tenders are super juicy Super crispy, and um, you know, the breading is quite thick, and typically I don't like that, but it works with these. I think it's because it's not too tough to bite into. It's still quite crummy. They're really good. Mmm. I'm really enjoying it. Oh yeah. So. I think I might give the fries a 10 out of 10. They're just perfect fries. And the tenders, a nice 8.5 out of 10. They're, they're very strong. Not the best tenders I've ever had, but very strong. I'm really enjoying them a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm. They do taste basic. Like, they're like a basic tender. But if you're ordering chicken tenders, that's kind of what you want, right? A basic queen. Mmm. Yummy. So overall, the chicken tender meal, I'd give it a nice 9 out of 10. It's really good. Yes, 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 ma'am. So, I feel like my butt crack's showing. Oh my god. Guys, look, there's a plant right here. That should have been my thumbnail, right? A flower. I bet that that flower is called, like, Borgenborf. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough of the fries. I really can't. I've already eaten like half of the chicken tender meal. Look Let me guys know if you like this or not. Like, be honest. Like, it does feel chaotic, but I don't know how it's translating on camera. <laughs> but maybe the chaos is good. We don't know. And I'm not going to do this every time. Don't worry, girl. I love my car. I feel safe in there. But also, like, you know, I, like, wouldn't film in, like, a shady location either. Like... 
out in public, but Ikea feels fancy to me, you know? I know it's not fancy. It's, it's like the cheapest furniture ever. Oh, I said that too loud. But, you know what I mean. It doesn't feel like someone's gonna like attack me for filming here, you know? That was a burpendorf. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now let's try this meatball meal. Oh my God, I can't stop. What is happening? I'm sorry. Listen, I know that I've talked about this before, but I have been getting a lot of complaints about my burps and I really need to stop. I might just edit that out or like maybe put like a noise over it, like a cow mooing or something. Anyways, let's first try this lingonberry sauce. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, oh, it's mad at me. I like bean. The lingonberry sauce tastes like like a fresh lingonberry. <laughs> what even is that? We don't know. It tastes like raspberry jam, but like a little less sweet than usual. And I'm not like the type of person to, for example, have cranberry sauce with my turkey on Thanksgiving. That's just not me. But then again, I've never really given it a chance. So who knows? You know? Anyways, let's try the peas. I'm not a big pea person, but... It came with it, so I was like, whatever. You know, as far as peas go, these taste pretty fresh. Simple, plain, but fresh. I really like that. Now let's try some mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, ooh. Um, okay. Oh, that's yummy. That's fresh. That is good. I kind of love it. So, like, the potatoes don't taste, like, super real. Something about them does taste processed, but to be honest, it kind of works here. They don't taste like your typical boxed mashed potato, like, powdered mashed potato type of thing, you know what I mean? They taste more real than that, but just not real, you know? They do have a very buttery flavor. They're quite salty. Extremely creamy. But there's, like, zero lumps. So that does kind of tell me that they're fake, you know? But I like them. They're just very buttery, very simple. And the gravy tastes like a light chicken or turkey gravy, you know? It doesn't have like a mushroom aftertaste. Some gravies have a mushroom aftertaste. I'm like, girl, not in my household. Mm -mm. I just ate all the mashed potatoes. Love that for me. Okay, let's try a meatball with gravy. Focus, focus, focus. What in the world? It's like, I can't focus. I'm, this is too chaotic. Focus. <laughs> it looks like I'm feeding my camera a meatball. Okay, for real, focus. Like if I have my face, maybe I'll focus. Okay, it just, it, it isn't doing it. I'm sorry. Mm, we love a lingonberry. Mmm. This is what the texture looks like on the inside, if you can see it. Oh, it focused. We love that. Once again, just like the mashed potatoes, this tastes processed, but like high-end processed food. You know what I mean? Like good processed. Like, you can tell it's made in a factory, girl. It probably has some fillers in it. That's just my guess. But it still tastes really good. They're, they're very salty. Some meatballs can taste too meaty. This doesn't. <laughs> Someone's looking at me. <sighs> um, yeah, so. They have a very nice texture. They're kind of bouncy. They're not chewy at all. And they just have a nice simple kind of, I can't tell if they're chicken or, what is this, beef, chicken? It might be beef. I don't know. It kind of tastes like poultry to me. Maybe that's gravy. Maybe that's a gravy, but they're great. Let me try them with the lingonberry sauce. Okay, we have some of the sauce here. <laughs> My camera is just not having a girl. Mmm. 
it's quite like that. I feel like that's a very British combination. Is that not? Oh, I really like that. Like for real. It really adds a nice sweetness without taking over. I thought that it would take over and be nasty, but it just adds almost like a sweet and sour vibe. Mm. I'm here for it. I'm impressed for real. We love that. I ate all the meatballs, all the mashed potatoes. I mean, all the fries too, probably. But I'm definitely gonna need some containers so I can take the home, so I can take the food home with me. I almost said so I can take the home food with me. Success. I'm gonna give them the meatballs by themselves. Nice eight out of ten. Mashed potatoes, seven point five. Lingonberry sauce, seven out of ten. Peas, whatever. I'm not even gonna rate those. It's peas. But the whole meal together, I'm gonna give it a nice eight. I think it's pretty strong. All the elements really are cohesive and they really work. I ate. Getting full guys. You can see my whole belly. Oh, I've always been able to push my belly out super far. Even like when I was at my skinniest, I could still push it out real far. It's a talent. It's a skill. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Some people just have it. That star power. <laughs> Okay, time for desserts, right? So, let's move this for a second. Should we try the chocolate one first or the apple one? I'm thinking apple because chocolate is typically a richer, stronger flavor. And I don't want that to impact the apple taste test, so. There it is. Ooh. Okay. Mmm! Mmm! Ooh, girl. That is it. For real. That is delicious. Oh, is it so awkward? That's why we have, and then they look at me. I'm like, do I smile at them? I don't know what to do. The cake underneath is like pretty dense and really plain. Almost like a really dense pound cake. And then the apple stuff on top really has a very tart flavor. I just realized anyone could steal my camera if they wanted to. They could literally grab it and run. And you'll never see this video. Yeah, this is why I can only film outside in like very safe feeling environments, you know? Anyways. The apple stuff on top tastes like a, a very cold apple pie. But I'm feeling it. It has the apple pie texture, apple pie flavor. It's quite tart. It's not too sweet. And then this crumble stuff on the top is really nice, too. It's like granola-y kind of, but also like more of a doughiness to it. It is quite fabulous. I like this apple cake a lot. Wowie, wowie, wow. Okay, now it's time for the chocolate cake. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's rich. Oh, that's dense. Oh, wow. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, wait. I didn't I didn't rate the apple thing. I'm, I'm going to rate it, I think, 9 out of 10. Very strong. I like it a lot. This chocolate thing is pretty good, too. It's incredibly rich, though. So, this top layer is a ganache. And that brings most of the richness. It's very, very sweet. The shirt's getting tight. <gasps> um, it's very sweet and it's very thick, but it's good. The actual cake layers are very light. Cocoa powdery, but not too strong. And then this chocolate mousse is my favorite part. It's the center layer right here. It's very light, very airy. It's delicious. I love it. But do I want more of it? Probably not, because it is so rich, you know? I just want a few bites. Guys, I have to shave my head again, because you can really see the thinning vibe happening. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, 
So yeah, cake is good, mousse is good, ganache is good, but it's just way too strong and it does kind of take over. I will say that. So I think I'm gonna give it a nice, 6.5 out of 10. Without the ganache, honestly, it would be like a 9. It's just too much. But overall, I had so much fun, guys. This this IKEA taste test was everything. I'm going to get a box to go. Don't worry. But I'm going to do that like after I stop filming. Mm. Everything was at least good or great. Nothing was bad. Nothing was gross. So I really approve of IKEA. I do. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Or if you enjoyed it. Because it's over. I'm oh, sorry. Um, and let me know what you thought of me filming in public. <laughs> it was an experience. Anyways. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Um, I'll see you next video. The guy just like stared me down. Like in the most scary way. Okay. I'll see you next video. It was him. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh. <laughs> Just a few more. I'm so full, but it's too good. Okay, that's it. Mm-hmm.